There's some guys that only live in that world. Yeah. They're skipping the most intrinsic, important part, which is lead conversion sales, showing that human being. Yeah. Is, hey, my name is. Marketing is testing. Not everything is going to work. You can't really serve your clients with the Pagazi. You have to keep level of quality high. You can easily forget what is really important to customers. People have already heard of you. They've already seen you around. You weren't going for the clothes right away. Right. It's an educational video. Now you send it back for the pitch. You know, a couple years ago, you could just throw up some Facebook ads and, and you know, you could get some good leads and it could work. I'm going to continue to focus our efforts on the cake. Yeah. And let everybody else do the frosting. I started from my basement as a contractor and eventually grew it to 18 states and 173 million in sales. Booyah, baby! I think the contractor should be talking directly to the carrier because they're doing the work. Anthony and Medico SVG on a speakeasy here today with Joseph Hughes from Contractor Dynamics. What's up, everyone? Contractor Good Dynamics. To be here. What's up? We're both drinking. Uh, I guess we're drinking coffee. What do you got in yours? Uh, just coffee. And whiskey? Yeah, no, no, not yet. Maybe after the after shooting. Talking last night, we went to, uh, was that Ocean's 44? Yeah. Had some old fashions with, what was that? Hazelnut bitters? Walnut bitters. Walnut bitters. Yeah. Was, I don't even remember the name of that drink. It was good. Yeah. I got drinks, good steaks. Put three of those down. <laughs> Still got them worked out today. Yeah, we did. So we got Joseph in here from when he came all the way from our New Jersey. Yep. Like Jersey Shore? Yeah, it's a great time to visit Jersey? Scottsdale. Yep, Jersey. You don't have the Jersey accent, though. I don't. It's pretty neutral. Down the beach, so it's uh, pretty neutral. Yeah. yeah I'm perfect. Right. Perfect, you know. Well, Jersey's right. Are you, are, do you get over to New York much, or you guys stay in the Jersey? Yeah, it's like an hour and a half away. I was oh, there yeah. last week. Yeah. Not enough. You know, you get into your zone and, and all that, so. Yeah. Now, I met you. You were actually here. We were actually on that whiteboard. This was before the speakeasy even existed. Yeah. Was it two years ago? One year? It was one year ago? Uh, I was here a year ago on the whiteboard, yep. um, but we originally met, I think it was the first luncheon lawyer you ever did in Dallas, August 2017. 17, it was 17. August in Dallas, I flew down from Jersey for the luncheon lawyer, one of my clients uh, was telling me about this whole SVG, I'm like, I gotta check this out, so... Yeah, the that's why that was my exposure to the industry just kind of happened organically. Yeah, and then you were here about a year ago, we did a nice little, we actually shot five chapters inside SBGU on funnel marketing, Facebook ads, SEO, really understanding some of the positives and negatives. Yeah. How, how you can insert company. yourself into that, that social media world yep. with a marketing company or doing some of it by yourself. Yeah, which is huge. Yeah. And that course is inside SBGU, so that, that's been helpful for some guys. And, yep. and uh, I know quite a few guys have, have now contracted you. Yeah. And you're doing a whole uh, rotunda of stuff now landing pages Facebook ads brand management yep. websites yeah absolutely I, a, a roofing company or other company that wants to do marketing like really like build a brand get the market to know that be one of the go-to roofing companies in their market mm -hmm. so building out that strategy the website the online social media advertising a lot of content really connecting all the dots to the whole picture right that it's really key you know a couple years ago you could just throw up some Facebook ads and and you know you could get some good leads and it could work That's what nowadays I still do that. Yeah. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Nowadays, you know, you need a strategy because right. everyone's doing that, especially in the big markets like Dallas or Denver. So you've got to have a right. better approach and a more lo a longer term approach. It's not like this get rich quick thing, you know, that you see online all the time. Now, before we get into all that, because it's a yep. lot of stuff that we're going to talk about, let's talk about you. How did you get into this? Yep. And what's unique about your marketing SEO company? What do you call it? Is it a marketing company? Marketing. Marketing yes. company. Your online marketing company. Is you? Pretty much only service contractors. One hundred percent, one hundred percent contractors. So your your niche focus is contract. Absolutely, I grew up in the industry, so, so that's uh, what I was getting to. Is you know, how did you how did you grow up? What made you get into the contract? Grew up in the uh, construction industry, family business, which is actually one hundred and twenty five years old this year. So a sixth generation family business. What's the name of that company? Hughes Marine Firms. Up okay. in uh, Brooklyn, New York, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, and uh, in Jersey. So I, we work with a lot of family businesses as and clients. What, and what do they do specifically? So they have a shipyard, uh, barges, tugboats, cranes, uh, own some property. So Sounds like mafia stuff. Yeah, yeah Irish mafia. Hughes, because yeah. Hughes is an Italian. No, no, there's not enough father. It's, a, in it's Irish mafia. Irish mafia. Okay. <laughs> so uh, so they do all that. So my first job was in a shipyard painting tugboats when I was 14. Uh, you know, so got an education, learned the value of hard work. Uh, you know, out there in the winters on the water, it sucked, but you know, that's how you, you, you learn to work and make And money. they're still in business. 
Are they still? Oh yeah. Oh, okay, they are. 125 this year. So your parents, uncles, grandfather who was my my dad and his uh, brother and his cousin are the three owners, and then right. I have a few cousins that are that are in it as well. So okay. so yes, I left that on good terms in 2012. Mm -hmm. uh, loved it, learned a ton. I just kind of had that entrepreneurial itch, wanted to do something more of my own. Uh, had an affinity for the construction industry and loved marketing and saw the opportunity to. I saw the need to to service contractors and construction companies with marketing. Mm -hmm. So started Contractor Dynamics 2013, and yeah, 100% focused on the industry uh, nationwide. And now, because we're so involved in SVG and, and the roofing industry, mm -hmm. that's our biggest segment of clients. And I've seen you pretty much, you've gone pretty steady growth over the last two years. Yeah, and I know yeah. several clients that use our program use you, so I know you've been adding quite a few clients over the years. Yeah, and I haven't heard any horror stories, and in your industry, it's very easy to hear complaints. It is. I haven't heard it is. So you must be doing something right out there, because I hear everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we try. I mean, we, I, I take it personally. It's not easy you know, to keep a contractor happy. No. You don't produce enough no. leads, you don't produce that. Bling. Yep. Hey, man. They're the first to complain. Yeah. I mean, so. honestly, we had we had some of that last year, because we took on a lot of clients, and... You know, we have the right intent, though. We want to take care of them. I, I take it seriously. Like, they're placing our trust in us. So, mm -hmm. if, you know, things, if the campaigns aren't hitting right away, then we're going to, you know, do what we can to adjust things and, and make sure that, you know, things are moving in the right direction. So, you know, it, it, marketing is testing. Not everything's going to work month one, right? Mm -hmm. So, you got you to gotta work on it. It's always changing, but that's that's what's fun about it, too. Why not I drive my, my the, the marketing people, including yourself, that I outsource to? Yeah. You're one of them. A couple other guys they might be watching this right now. I drive those people. You know, you know how I am. No attention to detail. Yeah. And speed is of the essence. Yeah. So I drive those people nuts. And I think a lot of contractors they want it right now. Then instantaneous gratification. And sometimes it's hard to deliver that, especially in a, yeah, especially yeah. when you do it be between brand building, which is a long term thing. Yep. And lead generation, which they want right now. Yep. It's two different worlds. The one two punch. Yeah. I mean yep. that's key. Yeah. So you grew up in the, in the industry. You got into your contractor dynamics. So you're roughly a. a a five or six year old company. Yep. Tell me a little bit about uh, you know you, you do the Facebook ads, the landing. You do some great landing pages, by the way. You did my win, for Windy Game. Mm -hmm. I like it because they enter their they enter their email. Yep. They get the free ebook download, and then it hits them up. And I'm thinking about this. You did, but then it hits them up immediately with another page. By the way, do you want to do a demo yep. on SVGU? And and that's that does generate some demos for us. But either way, their email gets captured back into Infusionsoft and they go on a drip campaign. So it's a whole rotunda of marketing that's happening 24-7 without my involvement. So great yeah. job on that. Yes. We do get a, lot of, we get a lot of leads from that. And great. Best of all, I don't have to pay for them. Yeah. It's free. Yeah. It's an organic machine that's working through the landing page. And who doesn't like free leads? <laughs> I mean, that's a testament to, you know, to what's in the book. You know, people want this. So uh, we're actually building out a couple more landing pages now for right. eBooks. So uh, yeah, eBooks are a good lead thing. magnet. It is, yeah. A lot of people try to try uh, to charge money for them. I don't think you can make money on a book. I stopped trying to do that years ago. There's so much free information out there. Yeah. You know, it's uh, yeah. getting into their hands, getting in, getting them into your system, and then the follow up, right? Which you it's guys all, are good. It's at. all the products and stuff after the book. Yes. Let's go a little bit into uh, you know. There's a lot of contractors on the page. There's a lot of lead generation companies on the page. You hear yeah. a lot of hey, who's the best lead generation company? I need leads tomorrow. Right. Now, 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 now. The storm just hit. Let's talk the difference between that because mm -hmm. Facebook ads can generate immediate leads. They can. Yep. Let's talk, and that's and, and those are good for the immediate the immediate. But it's also nice when you get organic. Yes. Like the, the downloads or you get a customer calling in that saw your brand somewhere. Let's talk about the difference between the. Yeah. I want it right now. Uh, what should we call them? So lead, we're gonna call it uh, lead crack whores. <laughs> I'll just, word. I'll, I'll just call it. Uh, I'll keep it PG. We'll call it leads versus marketing. Leads I mean, versus brand building. Yeah, marketing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So like buying leads, you know that that can be a part of your business. And mm -hmm. there's great companies on on the SVG page that provide that service. Knocking doors, canvassing, all those things can generate customers today. Uh, with marketing, it's more about you know social media advertising, Google, all that sort of stuff. Those things can work right away, uh, and they do, but they work really well in the long term too when you get to build your brand which means that you get people in your market to know who the hell you are like who is this company and why are they different from the thousand other roofing companies mm -hmm. in atlanta right so when you're buying a lead the homeowner doesn't know who you are versus right. two trucks in the truck so when that's the case they're just gonna they're just looking for the lowest price or right. whoever's gonna give them a free tv or a trip to mexico or whatever is brand so, building can come from 
maybe a content content based YouTube channel video. Yeah, yeah. yeah where you're just giving out, hey, you're not trying to sell anything. Where you're just trying to say, hey, we're over here helping Mrs. Smith with this gutter problem and blah blah. And you're educating the market, yep. or maybe it's an article. Yep. Or so you know you have to do a lot of that kind of stuff to help build your brand. In addition to, hey, I want your I want your business. I want it now. And no. call me. Well, that's the thing. Like that's the small percentage of the market. The tiny percentage. By the way, I'm learning. I'm getting better at that myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, man, you got a lot of Facebook stuff out there about lead conversion sales, lead conversion sales, lead conversion sales, and so we're starting to blend in more content-based education things and yeah. things like contractor rescue. Yeah. Where we don't make money on it, but we're out there trying to, you know, build our brand, but also help contractors Absolutely. or help our clients in some way yeah. that has intrinsic value. And that shows markets. the value that you guys bring to the table. And inadvertently, it's, it's still advertising. Yeah, but you're you're not hitting. You're not it's hitting marketing. Lead it's marketing. Sale, you know, right? you're not right. looking to close a deal today. And that's what when people are looking for leads, they're looking for the people that are looking to buy a roof today, right? Right. And in a storm environment, obviously, that's a lot easier. Everybody wants those. Well, yeah. <laughs> when you're going out to Facebook and you're doing marketing, like, hey, you know, most people haven't heard of your business. Most people don't need a roof today. They don't want to talk to a roofing contractor today. You'd probably rather be the magnet on the fridge that they call, yeah. and then they don't go online for the, to call the lead, right? Well, this is the this is the, the little the little magnet, a little thing. You're oh. already in the Rolodex. This is the new fridge. You got to be on here, not the not the fridge. Oh, it's actually a roofing contractor. Can you pick it up? Pick it up. It's better be important. We're in the uh, we're doing a speakeasy. Oh crap! You want me to let you go? Nah, what's up, man? Well, Ooh. I'm just excited. I was wondering why you weren't calling me back. Oh, sorry. Well, we got, we're tied up here. We got the microphones on and everything. Well, he is in front of a live camera audience. <laughs> oh, we're live. Oh, I forgot we're live. Facebook live. Oh shit. Yeah, what's going on, man? <laughs> well, no, I'm just I'm excited, man. It, it, uh, it finally worked. It finally worked. We're getting some we're getting some good leads out of that Facebook ad. Oh, uh, I told you the video. You got you had to do the video, right? Is that the one of the videos? Yeah. It is. This is my that's my infamous first video ever. Nice. And this is a Facebook ad to the consumer, the property owner? Yep, to uh, for residential. Uh, yep, there were what a couple. Kind of, what kind of radius did you do around the city? Uh, this was a storm, uh, a little storm last week um, in DFW. Sure. And so I think it was like 50 miles I think it was out. 10 miles. It was tight. 10 miles out. And how did you set the audience variables based on age? Uh, yeah, we usually do. Obviously, you're not going to mark to 18 year olds. No, we usually do 30 to 60. 30 to 60 on age. Yep, you can't do homeowners anymore on Facebook. They took right. that. They removed that. You can do male and female. Cause yep, you can do that. You can do uh, you can do um, household income. You know, like that doesn't really matter when there's a storm because it's right. you know, a little different. But is, there any, is there any other way to narrow down and try to get homeowners versus, let's say, renters or anything else? And I haven't looked in the audience section for that. I know it's not easy. There's a couple ways you can do it, uh, both in Facebook targeting and then, you know, kind of in the copy that you're writing. Like mm -hmm. you want, obviously, people reading that. And if they're a renter, they're not going to opt in for now, that. Do you do a combination of video views and lead capture? Yep. Because yep. I know the video views are yep. cheap. They're a couple cents a view. Yep. Versus lead capture, you start talking a couple bucks per lead capture. Get the yeah. Email. So video, I mean, the strategy that we're using is uh, the video goes out and we want to see, we want thousands, tens of thousands of people to see that, right. build that engagement. And then you retarget those retarget people with, with the with offer. The, with the leads. With right. the lead. So at that point, people have already heard of you. They've already seen you right. around. You're in the neighborhood. Your trucks are there. You gave some free content. You weren't, yeah. going, for the, you weren't going for the clothes right away. Right. It's an educational video. Now you send it back for the pitch. Yep. You get a lead conversion of sale. Or yeah. get, excuse me, capture the lead. Yeah. And you call and try to convert the lead. That, that was a great video you guys did. It was really uh, personable. It was uh, you're up on the roof talking about uh, you know the different things that you're looking for. And I think that really builds a lot of trust. Oh, good. Uh, yeah. So, you know, it is what it is. Getting used to the camera. Good. Yeah. Well, that that's going to be huge. I think we're going to talk about that in a little bit. So, all right, man. Uh, yeah, I'll give you I'll give you a shot later. Can we get back to our Facebook Live audience? Come on. <laughs> Are you agreeing? All right. All right. Talk to you later. Didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. All right. Later. That's the case. We, you know, worked with them several times and trying to get these guys to do video. Finally. He's like, I want to do, I want to start this up again. I'm like, well, you need to do video. Yeah. And uh, I actually was on my, this is a couple weeks ago. I went outside. I shot the video that I wanted him to do. Mm -hmm. On my phone, I sent it to him. I said, do what I just did, but do it on a roof in, in Dallas. And uh, yeah, I'm glad you're working so far. Good. Let's talk real quick since we're talking about it. That, you know, as I understand it, when I think of Google, because a lot of guys are confused about, let's say, Google AdWords or Google Ads. Yeah. And Facebook ads. Okay. And here's my two cents, and, and tell me if I'm right on this. 
Google ads are when somebody is searching for you yep. primarily. So someone's like, oh, I need a new roof. Mm -hmm. Google ads, and it's going to drive some traffic. To they you. have intent. Yeah, they search intent. intent. Yes. Whereas a Facebook ad, let me and hail is a great example because yep. a lot of people that have hail damage don't know they have hail damage on a roof. Right. So they're not necessarily looking for a roofer. Right. But the roofers are looking for them. Yeah, they're not probable. We do a lot of this. Yeah. But if I can target that Facebook ad campaign to people that are sitting there, I know they have hail damage. Right. And educate them in the video that they might want to get an inspection. It's a much better vehicle to do that through a Facebook ad. Yeah. Than it is through Google Ad because a Google Ad they're going to be searching for me and, and in, in many cases hail does not search for me unless right. it's like through the sh through the roof right or broke the window then they might search for you yeah but eighty percent of them, that's not happening yep and so the Facebook ad medium is actually a better proactive way to, to get that yeah. lead than a Google Ad yeah because they're not pro they don't they're not aware that they might have a problem right maybe they don't yeah you know, maybe they don't know what hail is or maybe they don't know that wind what wind can do right. to lift shingles or whatever that may be so you got to say hey. You know, we had some some weather come through. This is happening in your neighborhood right. to your neighbors. Like it could be an issue. Let's go check it out. So Google you know? it might be better for somebody who's got an old roof and they're searching for a new yep. roof. Retail. And you, and you pop up in the top five or top three, and then it you know sends them over to your stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Because those people are looking for roofers. Yeah, but hail commercial damage, as well. Hail damage is not a good a, a good vehicle for like hail damage is not uh, Google ads. It would be Facebook ads. Yeah, correct. Yeah. See, I'm learning, man. Yeah. Like, but then you can bring you know you can use Facebook ads to get some traffic. And then retarget people on Google right. or YouTube, or um, maybe it's videos. maybe it's an old roof that didn't get approved. Right. They know they got to get it done anyway, so you get a combination of both. Yeah. So you yeah. Get one of both. And now with Google like owning YouTube, uh, then you can retarget your videos as as pre roll on YouTube. So oh, really. Yeah. Now, are you doing any? Are you using Google as a part of your marketing mix? With yeah. Clients? Yep. You it's are. all part of the ecosystem. Yeah. You gotta. So, you know. You want to be everywhere. You want to. So you haven't done any in the last uh, seven years. Okay. Of SVG, you've done no. But you guys should be. You guys should be doing YouTube whatsoever. because you know, all the videos you do. Yeah. You know. We should talk about that. Yeah. Maybe you can sign me up. <laughs> Close me. You up. signed me up today already. <laughs> I gotta get you back. Yeah, we did sign you up as the affiliate. Yeah. I mean, you're you're an affiliate member all last year. You know, SVG affiliates. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a big push this year because we had a lot of guys, a lot of vendors, and strange people we didn't know kind of infiltrate the page over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. And really poaching, sending private messages. I mean, it took five years to build that page. Yeah. I mean, it's, people are kind of accustomed to it, but that. it's mainly owners, managers. Very, they have to fill out a questionnaire to get on the page. It's a select group of people. Right. And so we just don't want to have 20 SEO companies on there hitting up guys, trying to sell them. We had a couple guys complain because, you know, somebody took 10 grand here, five grand there, retainers, never performed services. Right. I won't, I won't drop those names. I should, but I won't. But there are people I don't know in the SEO or the funnel marketing world. Right. And they never performed. Well, they met them through our page. I don't even know who they are. Right. And so this year we made a commitment to get rid of folks that aren't affiliates. That hurts one your one. Hurts your brand. Yeah. Not promote obviously people that aren't affiliates and really keep the vendors and the technology and service providers that we know that we've networked with. Yeah. That are committed to going through that annual betting process of SVG and then we support them. Yeah. And it keeps kind of the riffraff out, you know, off the page to some degree. There's and, plenty and of helps. pages, plenty of groups for the riffraff. There's yeah. a ton of roofing groups and. and Do you name any? Uh, no, <laughs> that's not my game. But you so keep, they'll be talking about this here, about you know, so this goes live. They'll be talking about this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it, you have to keep the level of quality high. Speaking of which, I did a very funny post a couple weeks ago about funnel marketing. Oh yeah, yeah. And then it funny. It's funny how, how news travels fast. That my post showed up on some page. I'm not a member of the page. And there's some guys in the funnel marketing world that got all bent out of shape about it. And, yeah. You know, you're in that world. Yeah, I'm not really in that world, but I use obviously a lot of social media marketing for our brand for what mm -hmm. we do, I and mean, we grow our entire company on Facebook and yeah. Facebook ads. Everyone's watching this on Facebook. Yeah. But my point was how great it was for me, especially after the conference, to get out and work with my clients in their offices, out in the streets with their customers, and watching the process in the streets. That was the point of the post. Yeah. And when you sit back in your office and you know what I'm talking about, and you get yeah. that that tunnel vision. Oh, yeah. And you're looking at drip campaigns and lead conversion of sales and funnel marketing and all this. After a while, you get lost in the sauce and that stuff. Mm -hmm. And you, you can easily forget what is really important to the customers. Yep. So for me, I like to get out on the field. Like if I sit in this office too long, I drive my people nuts. I usually lose a few people. Yeah. <laughs> so I get out on the field. Go out the field. Yeah. I go out and I work with contractors. You know, like Eric Hunter we went out with last week. Did a day training with yeah. him. Before that, Paul uh, Martindale up in Wisconsin, we do these one day deals. Yes, I, get out, that. I get out in the field sometimes. Scott Ropel, Interstate Ropey, get out in the field, literally knocking doors with guys and seeing the transactions at the door. Yeah. 
how are they inspecting? What's going on? What are these new UPPA laws? You know, so that allows us to make better products. Yep. But I love getting out there in the real world and doing that because I bring a better value back to this world. Absolutely. Which is that social yeah. media fagazi. Yeah. And I think if you only stayed in this world, that was the point of my post. Yep. There's some guys that only live in that world. Yeah. And then they sell that world to others without ever getting down on the streets with their clients. Yep. And I think that's a mistake. And that was the point of my post. If you don't, if you don't get out there, right. you can't really serve your clients with the fagazi. No. You know well, what I mean? I mean, you can, but you're going you're gonna to burn out real quick. And then quick. you got some guys that just sell the fagazi for a living. Yep. Like, punch this number, hit these three buttons, get my funnel, you'll be a millionaire driving me back <laughs> in 90 days. That's a, yeah. Yeah. that's a bunch well, of garbage. I mean, I, I 100% agree. I mean, that's why I flew from New Jersey to Scottsdale to, you know, to do this and to right. do some other videos that we did this morning at the place. And we were, we're on a builder's uh, uh, new home build today. That was incredible. That's what, you know? Yeah. And we're launching a new product. You got a new client. We're launching a whole new product for SVG. So that's what I'm talking about. When yeah. you get on the streets right. with these people. You come up with better ideas, better ways to you know serve the the whole the overall client base. Yeah, I mean, I make it a goal to get out at least once a month, go to an event, you know, go to Dallas, go to win the storm, obviously. The only guys that would have got bent out of shape by that post are the ones that make a living off selling to Fugazi without providing any value. Because I why because you understood the post, right? I understood it because I knew you, and I could set, I know how excited you get about going out and you know in the field. meeting people in person, and I do too, and like. There's so much noise out there. There's so much distrust, right? Yeah. But when you have that face to face, you can build that bond and you can like kind of break down that wall and like, hey, what do you need? Like, let's let's do business. I can help you. You know, mm -hmm. so that's huge. Yeah, the truth is, or just like in any industry, whether it's attorneys, public adjusters, contractors, social media, online universities, there are people that aren't providing value, mm -hmm. and then they hurt the other part of their industry. And I think it's yeah. in any industry. Right. I just happen to think that in the world of internet marketing, right now more than ever, because you can pop up so easy on Facebook. Yeah. You can go rent that, rent the car, <laughs> sell the millionaire dream, yeah. and then people punch in for these services, and it is a fagazi. So there's a lot of that going on. You got to sit through. Like I went through a hundred guys to find you. You know, I use you and two other outside agencies for. Drip campaigns, landing pages, Facebook ads, stuff like that. But I went through thirty or forty, maybe even a hundred over five years to find three good ones, and it was a, it was going through a lot of shit. Yeah, some didn't come come through, some disappeared, some overcharged and deliver. Yep. And finally, there are some good folks out there, but you got to go through. It's a painful process to get to the the top three. Yeah, you know. I mean, yeah, you got to find people that are practitioners that are out out there like doing it if it's marketing like doing it for other roofing contractors you know people that actually really care about the end result right you know providing a month end report right what kind of leads how many leads oh, yeah, we talked about that lead conversion time. of sales right which ones are bad leads right you're going to do it a month end review with a client you know, all that kind of stuff is important and yeah getting quality uh, like nick just called and you know we got feedback on the on the leads so far and that's that's good to hear you yeah know? I, like I, I hope you would call and you know if they were shit too and say all right we have to adjust and we would do that so want to yeah. stay on top of that you know want to be we want to be we want to be a partner to our clients, not just a vendor. You know, there's a lot of vendors out there, but like we take it seriously. We want to build out their plan, and we want to be a, a, a marketing partner, as cliche as it sounds. You mm -hmm. know, everybody says that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, Windows Storm. You went to Windows Storm. We, we uh, that, that was a fog of war. That, that was, was a good one. That was a year. month ago. Yeah, we, we were just talking about it today. Still kind of. Bouncing 20, back from that. 2,500 people there. Yeah. That was a vendor. Did you, get, did you meet any new faces? I know a lot of your current clients are there. Met a lot of new faces. I think more importantly this year for us was mm -hmm. the face-to-face -face with people that we built relationships with over the years. Right. Last couple of years. Uh, you know, just sitting down, talking, you know, getting some right. video testimonials, getting some video footage. Uh, so that that was huge, yeah. And it's yeah. hard to get it's hard to get everybody together. It is. It yeah. takes all year to get everybody together in one place for two and a half days. That's not that's no easy. Yeah, task. yeah. This year we're gonna do it in Phoenix. Very excited about that. Uh, we did Vegas the last two years in a row. Uh, when I say Phoenix, I mean Scottsdale, Phoenix. Uh, we did Vegas the last two years, then we did Miami. But we started here in Scottsdale. For some of the guys watching this, they might remember. That was a picture of like thirty people. The first one there. was fifty. Okay. The second one was like hundred and fifty. That was a, those are both in Scottsdale. Yeah. Then we went to Vegas. It went to like seven fifty. Then Miami fifteen hundred. Then the other Vegas two thousand. On this last one, I think it was two thousand five hundred sixty seven attendees total. You remember that? Uh -huh. In Vegas this year, we're gonna we're 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 bringing home builders in. We're bringing in the builders, the big prime uh -oh, contractors. That's Because we're launching a virtual training for uh, home builders with uh, Tinker. Your boy's name yeah, Tinker. Eric Tinker. Tinker Development. We're excited to launch that. We're gonna launch that next show. I think the the roofing contractors that are. Um, 
and the GCs and restoration contract come to win a storm will appreciate a new echelon of, of, of other people, the yeah. builders coming in, because not only can they learn and sell storm stuff, but they'll be able to interrelate and start to meet with different folks and network with builders. Yeah. And, for, and you get some ancillary revenue from, from different builders around the country. Yeah. They're bringing this here. And there's a lot of crossover. I know most of our roofing contractor clients, they also do remodeling and they do mm -hmm. other projects yeah. and, you know, flipping homes and yep. things like that. Flip so. homes, rebuilds, yeah. remodels, flips. Now, not a lot of our guys do new builds from the ground up, but there's a couple that do yeah. a couple times a year. So yeah. I think that's a good, it's a new market we're going after. So we're excited about that. Uh, we are going to do it in Phoenix. We're trying to get uh, get back to mountains, fresh air, sunshine, education. Yeah. yeah. We've always promoted that, you know, the training aspect, but we've always been big on, hey, come here and have fun. You know, yeah. all work, no play makes Jack a dull boy. That's, yeah. that's, that's fun and cool. We're still going to do that, but we're going to bring it back to the mountains, fresh air, sunshine. And really focus on the uh, where we started. Yeah, which is Scott still here. I, lo I love that. Yeah, we can always go back to Vegas in a few years. Yeah, yeah, it's a great area. So what's on? Uh, you know, it's April. Storm season's kicking off. Yeah. Um, what's up? What's what's going on with you as far as this year? Any big plans? Yeah, you're gonna join us in some. We got some road shows coming up in storm seas. We're just waiting for them to get hit. Yeah, sure. Why not? We're doing a couple, planning a couple of workshops. So I, we've done a couple of workshops. We did one in Dallas in January. We're planning a couple more in April. Now, uh, now it's so it's a, like a one day workshop focused. One day on. workshop for roofing contractors, really teaching them like what they need to do to build their brand, to market their own business. Because as much as you know, most companies want to just hire it out and say, hey, just do my marketing and. Here's my money and make my phone mm -hmm. ring. That doesn't really work that well, right? So as a company, you've got to understand the basics, like you always talk about, right? You've got to understand how to do this stuff, how to produce content, how to do videos, like what's a post, mm -hmm. uh, how all the pieces fit together, and why they're important, mm -hmm. and what you should be budgeting for ads and things like that. So we teach that because there's so many contractors in that space. You know, you can get to that one, two, three million dollar level, and we were talking about this earlier with like mm -hmm. just that hustle and, and grit. And then you get to that point, you're like, all right, I need some systems. I need some marketing systems or training systems mm -hmm. to get to that next level. So right. that's what we focus on. Uh, that the in person, love it. You know, we always get get the video going and mm -hmm. uh, you know send that out to the attendees. And so we got a couple of those planned for April, and uh, do some of those throughout the year. Now, those, um, how much do those cost to go to? We're still working on pricing. So on pricing. I'll, uh, yeah, check out the SVG page because we're an affiliate. Are they under ten thousand? Under ten thousand, yeah. Under ten, okay. Yeah, that was good. But nice. Well, I have to sell my car to go. Nice price anchor there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, two things I think you know this year that we're gonna focus. You know, we're all SBG focused on training. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're gonna we're gonna continue to shoot builds all year. Yeah. We're really gonna want to shoot a build with every major roofing manufacturer, not every brand, but every major system. Okay. We got about 25, 30 percent done in SBG now. We're shooting in Hawaii next month. Yeah. We actually get the need manufacturer. some marketing help out there. Or? Come on. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna do a con we're gonna do one of the contractor rescues out there. Cool. Uh, that's just a fun thing I think to get out and help people. Yeah. But the builds I really want to get all the every every uh, every major roofing system, the build process with the manufacturer step step by step, so that future in English and Spanish. Cool. So future people can access that and watch that. And you don't need to you know fly people in and you know yeah. you, can, you can learn this in a virtual world. Yeah. And I think uh, a continued effort on lead conversion of sales for you guys. Well, in my, in my training, I see a big need oh, out there. Okay. I see a yeah. lot of these contractors, yeah. some of them are watching this right now, they know what I'm talking about. They're spending money on billboards. Yep. They're buying $10,000 lead packages. Yep. They're buying the big trucks, okay? They're throwing the ads in the paper and the first guys that come in and speak English and teeth aren't falling out, <laughs> they're not checking criminal, they're still not checking criminal background records. Yeah. I'm not saying they should, but they're hiring people that come in because we're in a Trump economy right now, it's like 3.7% unemployment. Yeah. And it's hard to find people that want to come work for a blue collar, let's be honest, a blue collar roofing restoration company. This economy is tough to find millennials that want to come knock doors yeah. or run leads and jump on roofs and sign deals for 100% commission. Right. It's very difficult right, right now. So sales recruiting, and then once they get so once they get these people in the door, and they spend all this money on billboards, trucks, brands, logos, and all this other stuff, they're skipping the most intrinsic, important part, which is lead conversion of sales. Showing that human being, yeah. is, hey, my name is da 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 da. This yeah. is what I'm going to do. Sit down. I'll walk through these three steps. Then I'll slide the pen, and all the things that go into inking a deal, yeah. explaining a process, and educating that customer. A lot of that's been a mist in all the technology and the CRMs yep. and the hail maps and the lead gen, all, you know, all this other money spent on the, on the, on the frosting mm -hmm. and the cake. And so I'm going to continue to focus our efforts on the cake yeah. and let everybody else do the frosting. 
Yeah, I've, I've heard that from some roofing contractors recently that I was talking to uh, with about, about marketing. Like, hey, you want to, you still want to do that marketing that we talked about? No, I'm good. I'm, I'm really focused on my sales team right now. I don't need any more marketing. Really want to get the systems down. And that's awesome. I respect yeah. that. That's great. You know, get those systems, build those out solid, so you can then scale. With, right. You know, with the marketing. So you know, you spend all the money on leads and, and banners and all that. But <clears throat> how do I close an HOA? Yeah. How do I close a president? How do I close a property manager? How do I close Mrs. Smith? Yeah. What do I do next with this? How do I educate this? How do I meet? You know, so all those other steps. Yeah have been overlooked from a training out. And some guys think you can do like a one day training and cover this stuff, not happening. Some people hire a sales manager that knows 50 or 60% of this stuff, yep. but a human can't train 10 people on how to do all these things 24 seven. Mm -hmm. And so our effort's gonna be the continued effort in developing training programs on the cake yeah. that makes all the frosting work. Cause yeah. if you just got frosting and no cake, it might taste good, but it's gonna fall apart. <laughs> there <right? laughs> you go, yeah. <laughs> It looks good. And then same with, uh, I mean, you're talking about recruiting and, and attracting talent. That like, too. Marketing plays into that too. We help a lot of our clients like, with recruiting and hiring campaigns. Um, you right? Look at so, the goggles. The goggles back there? Yeah. That's another thing is the goggles that we launched. Shameless plug. These aren't the actual goggles somewhere. But the goggles are a recruiting tool. Yeah. So guys are yeah. getting the goggles now are taking them to job fairs, career expos. Interviews, like an interview walking in. Yeah. I can sit here and talk to you at the desk and go, hey man, come work for me. There's a lot of money in this business. Let's go knock some doors. Yeah. That guy ain't ever coming back. Now, that shit worked 15 years ago. You come in, hey, let me show you a virtual train, da da da, I'm bored of your thing. Hey, throw on these goggles. Let me show you what we do on the field. Here's yeah. how the money works. Now you have a way to connect with the millennials. Yeah. And well, you made a blue collar industry high tech and sexy. Yeah. Because you go, hey man, come work for me. Go yeah. drive around in my truck for half a day. There's a lot of money in this business. Yeah. It ain't gonna work anymore. Yeah. It hasn't been working. And it shows it shows them that you're investing in your people and training and all that. So it's putting, that's, yeah, that's it's putting a high tech edge. And yep. so we're gonna keep focused again on that cake. Yep. That's a high tech part of the cake. But that cake that fills that recruiting, onboarding, and training gap yeah. for every key position roofing restoration company. And now we're gonna move into home building and do the yeah. same thing. Yeah. Which I'm really And that the about. hiring piece is often the constraints of growth, right? It's maybe not leads, it's it's like finding you can, those you cannot yeah, you cannot scale a company. With leads, billboards, and trucks, it's no. not possible. The only no. way to truly effectively long-term scale a company, sustainable growth, yep. is by having a, a system set up to hire, train, onboard people for all the key positions from sales, operations, and collection of your company to, to create a sustainable business model. There is no other way to scale a company unless you're like a software designer. Yeah, <laughs> and you create right. a code and you sold it you and know, you sell the company. Yeah. you're getting a big off it. Somebody else is blowing it up. I mean, there, right, there, right, there are right. situations right. like that, but yeah, the, right people, the right people in the right place, the right seats. Yeah. A contracting company, you got to fill the gaps. Yeah, any company, it's it's you know marketing company. It's you know you got to be cheeseburgers. Yeah, got to have the burger flippers. Yep, two pickles on every burger. Yeah, oh, I'm just gonna kill me for that. Ray Kroc, single their uh, mustard and ketchup. Yeah, they have a down to science. Yeah, absolutely. Cheeseburger New York tastes the same way as it does in San Francisco. Yep, right. Systems. Now, if you can make that, if you have ten roofing companies, in that process of hiring, firing, yeah, onboarding, training. Ordering, calling Mrs. Smith, if all that's the same like McDonald's, yeah. by anybody that you hire because your training system, then you've scaled. Right. And that's what we're trying to do. So Yeah. It's working. So excited to have you on here. Yeah, really. Um, but I like getting vendors on here and hearing you guys' stories and how you got into this and, and you know, how you're helping contractors and uh, just having some fun. Next time you come, we'll have to break open a whiskey. Yeah. I know yeah. you got to get on a flight. You've been, you've been traveling quite a bit the last couple of days. Yeah. Taking the red eye home to see the family well, next tonight. Time, next time we're gonna crack a cold whiskey. Yeah. On the rocks. Yeah, why not? We had a couple last night though. Yeah, that's 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 fun. So yeah, I mean we, we shot a lot of video today. Uh and uh yeah, I mean that's what it's all about. You know, building the brand, building that bond with your market, right? That virtual world, you gotta cut through the noise. Well, I'll probably be seeing you on the next storm. We usually like to do our little road show on post storm markets. Yeah. A lot of these guys go out to road shows before the storms. I think mm -hmm. guys are a little conferenced out. Right now, people are conferenced out, man. Everybody go make some money. Yeah. So a lot of people are spending money in all these conferences. Yeah. They're not going to make some money. You can, you know, you can, you can pay the bills. You can only get PowerPointed so much. So we're, yeah. kinda, we, we're taking a step back tonight for the next couple months, getting out and focused on training folks and yep. working with people in the field. But we will do a, probably a meet and greet, a lunch and learn, probably after the next storm. That's a, that's when it's relevant. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's like the next month or two. Year. So yeah. that's probably when we see you again. Absolutely. Yo, and one more thing. I think we are talking about doing a marketing uh, conference maybe later this year or next year for roofing contractors. So nice. Just a small event to uh, you know bring everyone together and put it on a yacht. You know, I'll go on a yacht. Put on a yacht. Yeah. 
Let's do it. Dominican, the oh, islands. Yeah. People want to do something different. That'd man. be awesome. Maybe People out. are tired of the power points. Maybe October, yeah, November, as it starts getting cold and, uh, you know, get some sun. That'd be a good time. Yeah. Like right after right after Halloween or right out of the second week of January. Yeah. Ooh. All right. See awesome you soon. Stuff.